Hello everybody, welcome back to EU4, Paris game we're playing. One Faith as Catholic Ottomans, and we have three walls going right now. Ming is one of them. And we passed a 50% war score mark. We occupied Odos. They've got a lot of forts over here. Let's concentrate in the center. So come down to come down to that one. Now they do have a big army on the move down here. So I'm a bit worried about that one. There we go. That's a 55, 54 heading up to Lijiang where the Malabar army is headed. We could help them out. Let's see, December 28th, we will be there. 6th of January, we can put the boot on. Falls March, January 2nd. That should be enough if I also boot up these guys. So, that's a battle that we will win and then get the Ticking Wars goal going. I kind of like that. Oh, hang on. Pause. It was actually the smaller army, these guys. But they're coming in now. Okay. And we got Kara Narin Ula. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great name. We got that occupied. Bring these guys south as well. And this battle should be won in a second. Yep. And that means we now should have the ticking war score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've won ten battles and lost th three. Is that not 80%? 10 out of 13? Maybe it's not. It clearly isn't. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to win another one. And that's gonna be uh, these guys coming in on the 11th. These guys will be out on the 22nd. These guys in on the 7th. Which is now. And we're gonna win that battle too. It's in the mountains as well. So attacking into the mountains. I'm wondering why I lose so much morale though. The siege of Tao Cho is over. Alright, there's another fort. So, where should we go? Go straight in there. Uh, right, so back to the battle, which we will win. Boom. Okay, look at those losses. That's unrecoverable. That's like 25,000 or so. What is going on with this crap? Oh, I think it's just act just activated, but it needs to tick. Something like that? I don't know. These guys back here. East Bira. Go to Mandla. This one should definitely fall soon. 77. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, back to air by the way, I forgot about that war. These guys are moving to Aider. Let's go straight in there and beat them up. They're only tech level 15. Ping Liang has fallen. That's up here. I'll go down this way. So that was a tick. Let's see if we actually get the ticking. No. <laughs> we need one more. 
Ah, shoot. <clears throat> oh, we're at 60%. Checking out the land battle over here. And we're doing okay. At Menagar has fallen. Now, let's hurry up and beat up the Rami. Let's get Kandesh out of this wall right away. No, I don't think we can do that. We need more. Yeah. There's only negative two though. Now we won the battle against air. I think we should just go in and take out the fort. Once that is done, we can fan out and uh, grab the rest. Yeah, Arn has fallen. I can't go anywhere. I can come over this way. Chitor has fallen. Ah, that was the uh, fort. So he's going to Mansoor. He's heading for Kandesh, I think. No, oh, he's going over here. Kamti Long has fallen. Let's go down that way. This is interesting. How is this going to work out? Mandlu on the 16th. Bill on the 15th. Can I actually catch him? I could pull a general on it from from this stack, actually. We get the stack, uh, general off this stack. Put him on here instead. And that took one day off and let's see if we can catch him in here we got Mandler occupied let's come down this way Chan Chu Wee has fallen Chan Chu Wee now this province is a bottleneck okay we occupied Tamanti this is where we split up and take Assam and Naga. These guys arriving on the 15th. Stack wipe. That should get the ticking war score going. It just needs to tick. So over here, let's see, he's out on the 21st. I'll be on the 25th. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. That didn't work with the even with the leader on, so he might stack wipe. That's two stack, and I'm gonna stack wipe the air units. Okay, let's see if they can actually survive that. I don't think so. No, stack wipe even. But we're going to catch them anyway. Ash units are gone. Here we're going to send out a couple of guys to siege up the rest. Uh, this might take a second or two. <clears throat> just to make it right and leave one behind and then go there I think that should do it alright they're now attacking me with a 5 stack or actually attacking Malabar with a 5 stack 
are they serious about that? No, they stopped. Back to Kandesh. Or Malwa. Is that a stack wipe? Yes, it is. So we got a stack wipe there, and... Military Engineer died. Um, yeah, so... Let's swap him out with Morale of Armies. That's the best one we could get. Okay, we occupy Mong Kwang. So what's the deal? Let's just go in there. We cannot because it's... Can we go here? Yes. And then send these guys down this way. And let's see if this is working. As intended. Yes, we got a carpet on Malva. So that war is under control. Um, right. Send these guys down this way. This one is 28. Did we get the tick? No. Mahedo. Let's see on uh, July 1st if we get a tick. I sincerely hope so. Bill has been occupied. There we go. Colony self sustaining in Catapang. Why should we put the next one? Well. I'm thinking here, so we have a border with Machapa hit. Um, yeah, so let's send him here. Um, let's do that manually. Send him there. Oh, they got a 20 stack down here. So is that enough to take out Kandesh? Yes, and all their money? Yes, okay, so let's finish off Kandesh. They're out of the game. Core up those two. Navy, come on. Right, get these guys on. Move them over here. Nope, we did not get a tick. That's just stupid. Looks like we're not going to get any ticks at all in this war. <clears throat> Maybe they're scaled to the size of the battles? That would be actually pretty cool if that was the case. Can we send these guys down here? Yes. It's into the jungle. And a pretty good general as well. Let's just come down to here. Mong Yang. Come down to here. I got no manpower, so these guys might as well. Just um, consolidate. Alright, get the navy back out. 
and send these guys down here and we occupied that one so we just need Mandu the capital that's the end of Malva so now they have a 34 stack up here and we got plenty of guys that can come back and deal with that and we got this one sieged up so let's just get a couple of guys actually let's get one of these guys over there and one of these guys over there and let's do the thing um, where we take these guys out and consolidate them and then merge them back up and then head down this way oh they're on the way out this is mountains so I'm not gonna attack them there anyway let's stop there Siege of Mandu is over. So that's 100% on Malva. Why is it not 100%? Why is that only 99? Oh, of course. Chitor. I need to siege back Chitor. Is, does that matter? How much overextension would it take to finish it off? 71. And we currently add 20, so I got 80. That's actually possible. Let's just do it then. Finish off Melba. People are gonna hate us, they hate us anyway, so who cares? Uh, yeah, let's do it. It's in demand. Corruption is gonna be bad. Thought we already know about that. Um, now Multan is about above 50. We can placate them as well. No problem. Alright, and get these guys merged up somewhere around here. Let's get rid of all of that stuff here. Bum, bum, bum. Like that. Right, back to Ming. We got 66% war score at this point. Get these guys down here. guys are moving around back and forth they don't know what to do cruelty of mercenaries let's just lose the 10 prestige we can get that back soon enough a siege of Xi'an is over takes us to 70 now these are guys are moving north to Lu Wang which is farmlands we could try and catch him in there I just bring these two guys in there as well Sounds like a plan. Back in the south, I'm gonna merge these guys up to one big stack and then move in for that battle. He's got another 10 stack up there. These guys will arrive on the 18th and 25th respectively. We occupy Degi and Sidam, that's up here. Get these guys down here, or maybe somewhere else. There's a fort right there, so we need to go and grab that. And Chengdu. So this battle we're definitely gonna win. I think we're gonna carry this one off as well. Sinning. Uh, come down to here.
that was the battle in the south. And now we got Ticking Wars going. Yay! Alright, this is a big stack. I guess we can split it in two. Take out Suko Tai. And Kang Tung. I should go up there. Great job, these guys. How are we doing in Africa? Well, we just need that siege. It's 63. And then we can uh, beat up his army again and then carpet siege everything into dust. Let's just finish off this battle here as well. Not a problem. Although we did lose a couple of guys there because I was. He was. Um, he had more troops in the beginning of the battle. Still 72. And he's willing to peace out. 72. Ba -ba -bum. Let's get the. Um, the war going for a few more months, get some ticking war score. Maybe go to 80% or 85% or something like that and then peace out. And yeah, I gotta wait for the course to finish anyway before I peace out. So that's how it's gonna be. Let's check out the next couple of um, truces. That's Yakan in 82. And then Bengal 88 and Delhi 91. So Yakhand in 82, that's the next one in April. So I'll send an army back to deal with that. Oh, look at that. Ming's got an army over here. Where is it going? Farah, it's going south. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess you can get through my, uh, my thoughts pretty easily. So in the next episode, that is what's going to happen. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you around. Take care.